After the break, Apollonia, how do I act after we take a break? This video is intended for you men to listen to if you were took, took a break with your partner and now you guys are starting to either get back into the relationship or communicate again. This video was requested by one of my coaching clients and he's like, Apollonia, that would be so helpful and I'm doing it for you. If this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to subscribe to this channel as I am your coach for you men to master your attraction skills, build the confidence and to have the love life that you desire. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about in regards to after the break is if the woman is allowing you or if you're allowing each other right to come back into like her personal space right she's allowing you to come back into her personal space the biggest thing that you do from here is you really pace yourself in general right so one of the biggest things is if you're in a break there's a distance that's created, right? Where you didn't, you probably went a couple weeks or months without seeing each other or talking to each other. And then she's letting you back in right now at this moment, or you're letting each other back in and you're communicating. A lot of times because of the distance that's been created, you only, your desire is just, you want to see this person that you love. You want to be with this person that you love. And you end up going, jumping into the relationship again, and you end up smothering each other. You end up smothering the woman and you end up smothering, or she might end up smothering you, vice versa. It doesn't matter. And that's why I say like when you are taking a break and how you act after the break is really vital. So the biggest thing that I want you to understand when I'm saying this is taking baby steps thing to go into this as is when you take baby steps, make sure that you are still focused on some goals that you have outside of this relationship. You're not making her the first priority right now anymore. And you're far more focused and aligned on you because this is what's going to build attraction for women. Women don't build attraction off of a man that just is all about her and has nothing else in life good and going for her. We're attracted to a man that pushes for his purpose, pushes off after other things in his life, but doesn't put as us as priority. We might be some type of priority in the beginning, but we're not the number one priority. And that fades into obviously marriage and things like that. When you start to become that. Another thing too, is a lot of men ask me after the break Apollonia, like, how do I act? How, what do I do? So what I can tell you about this is you want to make sure that when you are in the presence again with your ex or the person that you love, okay, and you're asking me, how should I act is you have to pay attention to your energy, right? You want to just be calm, cool, collective. You don't want to bring up conversations about you know, the time that you guys broke up and uh, reliving this, you want to come from a positive standpoint and you want to just focus on being the best person possible that you can to showcase change, right? So how you act is you're not attached to a specific outcome with this woman. You act as though you know what you want. And if this was a problem in your relationship where you needed to set boundaries in your relationship, this is where you start doing it. You start setting the boundaries and conversations that you have with her and your actions change. You have to show a different behavior. Breaks do not work if you don't change the behaviors that broke you up in the first place. And that's why it's so important that the things that I'm telling you in this video is you just pace yourself. You don't become too overbearing, but you also act in a way that you've showed and you shifted changes in your relationship and you showcase those. So this video is intended for you to know what are the changes that you needed to make in your relationship if this is happening. And I want you to really look at your relationship and say, what are those changes that I needed to make and what got me to this point? Once you know what got you to this point, take that time to figure out how you can change it. And then when you see each other again, showcase this, that's exactly what you do. If you're having trouble with, you know, how to engage with your ex or how to get this relationship back. And you're really wanting some personalized attention. I really encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me so I can make this happen for you and help you and guide you through this because so, let's be honest, relationships are all different and it's really hard to give specific tailored advice depending on a relationship. And that's why coaching sessions are so significant. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you again in the next video. And remember you are always loved. Bye for now.